So what I did here to show you how you can lower your tongue weight without actually moving around the anything inside there, you can change. I lowered the, the, the hitch, right? I lowered it down and I put, now it's got clearance on it again. See, I can move it. You can change the, the, the angle, take it off a steep incline by having it lower, lower here in height, right? And now I'm at 655. And it's clear, as you saw, I was able to move it. So it's, it's, it's not holding. So all I did was lower the, the pitch of the, of the uh, I took it off the incline. Loads on an incline, if you will. Now it's pinned in the back, so it's not holding the trail from sliding away. That's, that's not how this is working. It's, it's clear. So you can see I lift it up, lift it up more. So here I'm at 665, and now I'm gonna take, give this a little more incline. 675. A little more of an incline and look at my weight go up 685 695 and oh there's 700 and the higher i put my trailer on a pitch in the front the more tongue weight i'm going to get as you can see there so you want less tongue weight you just lower you know lower you have multiple of these i do have those but if you want if you need less tongue weight if you need it, or if you need more, if you need more tongue weight to balance your, your, your truck from wagging, you can simply do things like that. I'm going to take it off all together now. You can simply do that. All right, negative five is pushing up on the on the load cell. The uh, this load cell can do two. It can, it can tell you if you got a negative load. That way you're released. Now you know you're released. Not many uh, weights can do. Not many scales can do negative loads like that. Because you're, this is actually a remote a remote um, system, so it now it's now telling me that the load is touched down, it's negative, it's released, and you can pull the you can pull this out at this point. Well, not really. Okay, there we go. And let's see. So I'm on a bit of a, a bit of a, a twerk on it. Because this, this thing will take even an angle, will even pull on an angle and give you a different value. Just wanted to show you that. Let's see, there we go. Just trying not to touch it. And there we go. So hopefully that was helpful for you, but also for engineering, so you can understand it. Load on an incline matters, right? It matters. You will you will increase your your load your load weight will increase as you do that on an incline. It's like it's trying to lift it up. At some point it will go to zero if you can stand it straight up. It's back to zero again. It's just sitting on, as long as it's not trying to keep its balance with it. You can take this so high that, you know, flip it all the way up on its end where it's not taking a load. I don't know if this is helpful for you, but I hopefully it was or is. Why does load on incline matter? I think of trust systems and I think of the trust as the on load on an incline. Aha, uh -huh. this is how you know I step it up. So, this is just one step in many videos to come. Maybe this will be a year and for now, I'll do more of this. But this is just a little bit of data for you to put, put away in your head.